Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to show you how to link your ADT control account to Google Home so you can take advantage of the Nest Aware features. In this video, we'll go through some best practices and setup procedure. We'll show you how to verify the two accounts are linked and cover some troubleshooting tips at the end. Okay, let's get right into it. This video is assuming that your ADT control app is already set up and configured. And now we need to link ADT with Google Home so that you can have your Nest Aware subscription activated. You'll need to make sure to set up your Google Home account first. So we'll open up Google Home. Always make sure to allow access to this device when setting up your Google Home account. And you'll need to select Create a Home. We'll nickname our home. And then click on Next. We'll need to put our address in here. And then select Next. We're going to choose a home and we'll be able to manage the services and devices at this home. Now that we have Google Home created, I need to link my ADT control account to my Google Home account. In order to do this, I'll need to go back to the ADT control app. One side note to consider is that you don't need to have an active internet service at the location to link Google Home with ADT Control. Okay, let's go up to our menu on the top left. We'll select Add Device and select Google Nest. We want to connect ADT and Google Nest, so I'm going to click on Next. And we're going to allow ADT to manage Google services. I'll select sign in with Google. And continue. In this step, make sure to select the right house that you want ADT and Google to work together with. Some locations or some customers have multiple Google accounts with different addresses. So we'll select the one that we've created and click on Next. Slide this over and check mark for access between ADT and Google Nest devices. Select Next. We're going to choose our ADT account. And continue. Now that we've done this, we can select, select the Google Home app. Okay, we're back in Google Home. And the first thing that I always do is go to my settings. And then I'll scroll down to Nest Services and Support and select subscriptions. The sub subscription that we're interested in is Nest Aware. And here's where we want to click on apply so that ADT can manage this Google Home account. If you have any of these existing devices, you could simply click on yes. In this scenario though, we're going to select no. And it prompts us if we'd like to create a network for our Google Home account and Nest Aware. We're going to create that network. Here we have Nest Aware features. Emergency calling is the first one. Let's click on set up Nest Aware. And emergency calling from the Google Home app. We'll click on setup. 
confirm the address. We'll confirm this and next. You might see a pop-up on your screen allowing Google to know the location of your device that the app is on. Always click on allow so that you can use emergency calling. Next, done. And here we can see Nest Aware 30-day event video history is enabled and the key part is below emergency calling. I have my ADT logo and it says subscription managed by ADT. Now I can go back to my devices tab and begin adding in those Google video devices. What's nice about setting up the linkage before the devices is each time you add a device, you'll be prompted to enable the Nest Aware available services for that device. For example, familiar face detection, sound detection, and of course your 30-day video event history. Let's talk about some troubleshooting tips and tricks. Um, the number one issue that we see is when a customer calls us up and says, all of my Google devices are gone. 99% of the time when this happens, they're simply logged in to the wrong email account on Google Home. So to verify, select the email account icon on the top right hand corner and verify that the customer is using the right email address. Secondly, some folks will have multiple locations with Google Home enabled devices. There's a drop down on the left hand top corner that you can select, drop down and view your various locations. So verify that you're on the right address. Lastly, sometimes there will be a glitch in linking ADT control to Google Home. When this happens, simply start over. Go back to ADT control, go to add device, and select the Google icon. I hope you found this video helpful in how to link your ADT control app with Google Home and how to verify that your Nest Aware subscription is being managed by ADT. Thanks for hanging out here till the end of the video. If you found this helpful, leave a like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.